These are the plaintiffs, Thomas and Heather Corrado. Thomas says their former landlord's being outrageous with his claims of damages now that they've moved out, and they're not going to stand by and let him get away with it. Everything this guy's claiming is normal wear and tear. The judge will see through the defendant's claims like the Swiss cheese they are and award them the $4,500 they're seeking today. This is the defendant, Anthony Monty. He says the plaintiff caused him over $10,000 in damages for crying out loud. Now they have the gall to sue him in court today for the return of security? Ha! That's funny because he's been a landlord for over 20 years and knows exactly what he's doing. Thank you very much. He's accused of failing to return monies. Oh. All parties, please use your radians. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiffs say their ex-landlord is screwing them over by deducting money from their security for normal wear and tear. But the defendant says the plaintiffs caused more than 10 grand in damages. It's the case of it was wear and tear, we swear. Thank you, Thomas. All right, Thomas Corrado and Heather Corrado? Yes. yes. You are suing your former landlord, Anthony Monty, for $4,500, double your security deposit because he has not returned it for you and, according to you, is wrongfully withholding it. Um, let me hear from you. All right. Uh, I mean, How long did you live there? Uh, we years. moved in July 2013 and moved out 28th, October 28th of 18. Okay. And um, during the time that you lived there, did you guys have like a normal, pleasant relationship? Yeah, or was it wasn't it that bad. All right. You decided to move out. Why? Uh, we bought a house. Okay. Good for you. Thank you. So you move out, and uh, what happens? Do you guys have a walkthrough? Uh, I I thought we were going to, and then I texted him where we were going to meet up, and he was in South Carolina or North Carolina, one of the Carolinas, and he it's said all the just, same to you. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're close enough. <laughs> South so of then, the Mason uh, Dixon line. <laughs> so he, he told me he gave me a text to send. Well, he gave I guess the new tenants my number. To meet up with so them. So you just gave the keys to them or whatever. Yes. All right. So at some point, do you talk to them and say, hey, I'd like to say, how much is the security deposit in play? $2,250? Yeah. All right. So at some point, do you talk to him and say, what's up? Yeah, I, I reached out uh, and then he comes up with all these charges, uh, flooring, painting, electrician. Do you have pictures of how you left the place? You have a we video. have a video of it. Okay. You need it up there? You just have to hit the button. Lots of marks on the walls, guys. Why is there so many scuffs on the walls? I mean, how many kids you got? We have four. four. What's that? There's a litter of how many over there? <laughs> four. 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 Wait, somebody say three or four? There's four. two sets of twins. Yeah. Wait, these are two sets of twins? Yes. Oh, I love it. Hold on. Get, <laughs> move to the side. I got to see. OK, I think I know which ones are twins. OK. Um, how cool. All right. We have quadruplets at the People's Court. Very cool. Two people who met here and had quadruplets, no less. Let me hand the floor over to you. What's the problem? Why won't you give these people back their money? Well, um, I've submitted some pictures myself. Yes, uh, those pictures you were have. taken a day after they left. There's a lot of damage. Let's look at the pictures. So in this picture, you're showing me all of the scuff marks. Were people doing like riding skateboards on the walls of your? I think so. What is that? I can't tell you which I have to look up. Uh, okay, that? I'm gonna. If you can't see what I'm showing you, I want you to walk oh, up to okay. the TV sure. because I really want you to answer. I have to like, just visualize what room this was. Oh. Um, that's the dining. That's the dining room. So there was, exactly. There was, this is. What is it was this? Tight surfaces. So like. I'm looking at the wall. What is that? That looks like where like the, the kids probably put put their bikes when they had to bring them in. You okay, know, like, and then what did the kids do on this wall? It's going to be all the kids. We're going to blame all this on the kids. <laughs> I mean, it, I don't, like, there is a, I a mean, you would agree here. you didn't rent it that way, right? No, but it's paint, you know, like, I'm not saying that, you know, the walls were spotless. We were there five years, you know, so. No, I understand. And, and there's, had there's for, something called yeah. normal wear and tear, and then there's this. Yeah. I, I mean, that's I, not normal wear and tear. I don't know, like, what you, you know, you do. Consider. Um, well, we had, I, we had I'll be honest kids. with you. My house doesn't look like this, and I've been living there more than five years. You see what I'm saying? I do understand. Okay, okay, I okay, do. okay. What's that? 
Who knows? That's a scuff mark, it looks yeah. like, from like a bed or something. It looks, again, like some of it's scuff marks from furniture and stuff, you know? Some yeah, but a lot of, of it's stuff, not. A lot of it's not. A lot stuff, of it's other like stuff. Like their, when they had to bring their bikes up because we used, it was, Some of know. it's higher up than a bike. I don't even know how. What was here? I guess a TV was that on was, the That was, I think, my daughter's bedroom wall, yes. Which daughter? Both, Both of them? Okay, what is this? That's the four things where our bed was. Just from moving it, like, you know, it just, it scrapes, you know, the floor doesn't really stay raw. Those are gouges in the floor. It's scratched. Ooh, what happened in the bathroom? That's what just happened grout. That's the tile. I, yeah, that's not just grout. No, that's no. That's broken tile. I, and we have a message from him. I let him know. Now, when you walk on this tile, it rocks back and forth. So okay, the sorry. tile cracked up for a while. I'm kind of like the floor, it's it looks not a little level. cheap. This is just regular ceramic tile. It's, it, and it was not level. So when you walk on it constantly okay, with honey, all the people someone, that we have. Let me just tell you where someone dropped something. Nobody dropped anything in yeah, the bathroom. Yeah, right there where the, where, the, where the spider point is. I see That's that. That's where someone dropped something. I don't know that anybody dropped anything. Well, it I'm just telling you, that I, you spread. don't know. But you know who does know? I know that someone dropped something, all right? What is this? What is this here? What happened there? That is actually where our... Which of you kids put a fork in that electrical thing? <laughs> Nobody did, actually. I hope not. No, but what, what is that, really? That was, um, that's the only outlet that I knew that there was something wrong with. We had a, one of those faux fireplaces plugged in there that, you know, whatever, and, and we used it here and there. That's it. But you we never saw a spark Never had anything, like, no inkling until we were actually moving that day. So we didn't know that that was even What there. is this? Master that closet. That is um, our closet. The only thing Ew, I don't what's see... What's this? That's the, the only... condition they left the stove in. That's, With a pan, a lasagna, or something still yeah. sitting there dirty? It was probably on the bottom. I actually left stuff that I there that I did not know that I left there. There was probably a whole ca cabinet because we were rushing to get out. Okay, but so. why were you rushing? Why don't you just plan, be a better planner? Because and what, why? Yeah, okay. it, there's, I just didn't have time. That's okay. inside the cabinets. That's one of the many cabinets that were just left like that. That's the That's floor. That's a hole in yeah. the floor. Uh, did you put this flooring in? I, yeah, I installed that in when 2005. Did you 2005? Yeah. Same yeah. thing with the ceramic floor. That's a really long time ago. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't expect I it got, to last. I got, I got it. I got it, okay? Uh, not great, though. Not great. Um, so you are laying claim to the security deposit based on uh, several things. Let's go over your things. I had to paint the entire unit. Show, uh, tell me how that cost you $2,253.90. Did you end up doing that physically yourself, or did you well, have I other? I had two other people working with me. I'm a contractor. I've been a contractor for 32 years. Okay. So. Do you have the receipts for the materials? Mm, no, I don't. I, I, Your Honor, I'm... Dude, you're going to keep the people's security deposit. you got to keep receipts. Your Honor, we're in the middle of moving to North Carolina, <laughs> and I packed everything up, and a lot of stuff is, you know... For yeah, keep the stuff years. that's contentious. Well, like if you're like, gonna like throw out like the old clothes, the t-shirts from hair bands. No, don't throw those out. Those are all coming no, back right a lot now, of money, right? I know, believe me. Um, but but the stuff where you kept the guy's security deposit, he's probably angry. That stuff don't throw out. But in any event, all right. Um, there's some serious painting, and it's not. If it was that, you would have done it. Um, there's three some stories. serious damaging. There's some serious filling in of holes. There's some serious stuff going on. Can I add one thing? That, that, yeah, you on, haven't even talked. On, uh, yeah, on, <laughs> on, a, on, a, on a lease, we never got an itemized, uh, an list. itemized list. Within had, 30 days after we left. Wait, you do, every state has different um, laws about uh, that govern how security deposits have to be held, how security deposits have to be returned, how a security deposit could be kept. So is it possible that uh, somebody can move into an apartment with four kids and they're not be damaged. No way. Kids have accidents and kids are messy. It is what it is. Is it possible that kids don't cause damage? Uh, not at all. Huh? Not at all possible. What do you say? Um, they're going to cause damage for sure. No matter what? No matter what. $10,000 worth? I don't know about $10,000 worth. Okay. We'll find out going inside the courtroom. You live in one of those states where when the landlord wrongfully withholds any money, you can sue for double, as you know, because you yes. have sued for double. And the penalty is if you don't send the letter and you know do the what you're supposed to do and send the itemized list, which apparently you didn't, right? I didn't have a forwarding address. I gave him the oh, address. We gave him the address. address. Oh, stop it. If you sent it to the same address, it would have been we forwarded. We have text messages. Stop! Oh, I so don't care. <laughs> okay. If you don't, the penalty is that you get to sue for double the amount wrongfully withheld, which you have done. So you have taken advantage of, of what you get to take advantage of by virtue of the fact that he didn't send it. But really, I have one thing to decide here, okay? And it's whether or not 
the damages that I do see. I agree with you that there are several things that he's talking about that just go overboard. But whether the damages that I do see, okay, would amount fairly, because you can't, I can't penalize him because he's a contractor, but I also can't, I don't want it, I don't want it to be a bonanza for him, but I'm also not gonna penalize him because he's a contractor. Totally but the right. question is, does the damage just to the walls, man, um, you know, to, to having to paint the entire, how many bedrooms is this house? It's, it's two bedrooms with a loft. The loft is really large. Is it a house or a condo? It's a condo, it's three stories. Um, you know, if you damage a place, you're gonna have to pay for the damages. You know, this is a cost of doing business when you're raising an, a lot of people in a house and you know, got a lot going on. You know, it looks like you're doing a great job. You've got four beautiful, healthy kids who seem very engaged because they're all here. And, um, you know, but it's chaotic, it's messy. I raised three of my own. And the best advice anybody ever gave me when I had my first baby was my father-in-law who said, everything wipes. Just don't panic about everything. You got to some, as when you are a mother for a while, when you're a father for a while, you start to realize, I can live with that chaos. I can live with this chaos. I can, you know, this isn't worth the battle. It's more important that they do their schoolwork, that they do this, you know, all the things. And it's more important that we save up money and invest in a house. All these things are beautiful things. But you left the house a wreck for the guy. And see, it's supposed to be handed back the way it was handed to you. And I really cannot say that what I see in damage is less than the $2,250. I just can't. And I'm ruling in this case in favor of the defendant. Okay. Thank Good you, luck, Your Honor. Let's go. Well, the plaintiffs have failed in their effort to get that security deposit back and doubled at that. I, I think you would have to admit, if you looked at the pictures, that. He had. That, it looked like we there was there a lot of damage years. there. We were there five years. I know. And but four kids. So, and it was a small contained area. We did the best that we could. But what do you think of the picture? Sick. Would you agree? Um, it looked pretty bad. I mean, what do you think? I, I believe somebody moved in a couple weeks after oh, we moved out, on. so it couldn't have been that bad. Wow. I'm yeah, sorry. That's true. You lost your case. That's okay. Not much we can do about it. Okay. Thank you. Here comes Mr. Monte. How you doing, Doug? You, uh, you proved your case to the judge. She's okay. How you feel? Well, I feel all right. I mean, it's, you know, I, I don't like doing that stuff to people, but, you know, I know you got four kids. We all got kids. You got to take care of your stuff, man. Even you're renting something from somebody. You got to take care of your stuff, yeah. you know? I That's think my it's pretty line. obvious they didn't do a very good job of cleaning well, it. Well, it is what it is. Yep. Okay. So. Well, congratulations. All right. Thank you, Good sir. for you. Thank you very, well, very much. You. Harvey, you saw the pictures, what do you think? Doug, I mean, here's the deal, that in this state, the state we're talking about here, um, you can get double the damages for money wrongfully withheld by a landlord. There are some states where you can actually get three times, and some states where they don't double or triple it at all. So what you should do is go online, find out what law applies to you.